you are a game developer then you shouldn't watch this video and you may be thinking why what is happening nowadays people prefer comforting lies instead of uncomfortable truths this is unexpected behavior related to our biology however if you want to overcome your nature know the harsh truth about being a game developer and actually understand how to make money continue watching on the other hand, if you are an ordinary person that only wants to hear fantasy words, stop watching right now. I'm glad you stayed, believe me, it will be worth. Now let's unmask the game development system and become the best at it. Why I know you will fail as an indie game developer? The two main reasons why you will fail as an indie game developer are budget limitations for advertisements and not being honest with yourself. Firstly, without advertisement in the saturated game dev market, your indie game won't be noticed. On the other hand, sometimes as developers we think that our game is just amazing, glorious and that it will change users' life and the market, but most times we are just embarrassing ourselves with those lies. Failing as a game developer can be related to both points at the same time or to only one of them. Let me quickly yet effectively explain a little bit deeper into these two key points. First of all, advertisement is key when wanting to release an indie game. Just go to any store, for example Steam, and look for the most played indie games or the new games. You will easily realize there are a lot of games you can find, and most of those games aren't even from completely indie game developers they at least have uh, hired some people to work with them in different areas of the game this means that the result is much better and then they are probably spending money in different social media or wherever in order to get some traffic to their steam page this doesn't only happen for example in pc stores but also if you go to the google play store you go to the most played games i don't know if you actually know this but these aren't the most paid games they are actually the games that are that are paying the most amount of money in order to appear on the charts of course they may be played a lot but it's mostly about because they pay a lot of money instead of because they are being played a lot so that is the first point that you really have to keep in mind. You will need money in order to market your game. It may sound pretty common sense, but most people doesn't really consider that these facts and only publish the game and hopes for some kind of blessing to people start knowing the game. The second reason that is super also important here is to be honest with ourselves. I know that when we are creating something on our own, we think that the game is super amazing, that it will in some way change the market, change the way in which players play, or literally whatever. Just think a little bit deeper in your own. As I explained in the introduction, it's something that naturally is like a defense that our body does in order to overcome um, the pain, let's say, or maybe not the pain, but it's a way of defending ourselves from the harsh reality that maybe our game isn't as good as we think. In order to realize this, again, go to any store page, look for any game that you want, and probably maybe the visuals, the core gameplay, or whatever is probably better than yours. Maybe, again, because they have um, a team working behind or whatever other reason that may make their game better than yours and in a very saturated market quality is key of course now is actually these things bad is there an, an actual way to overcome them the first steps towards solving these uh, things is firstly accepting our reality I mean, for example, if we have no budget to market our game, to hire more developers, okay, that's okay, that's the reality that we have. So we don't really have to be thinking about that all the time, but we should be thinking all the time about making the best game possible, about marketing the best way possible that we have with the resources that we have. Maybe we will learn some stuff, maybe we earn some money or whatever. So for the next game, we have more knowledge, more resources, and more money for our next invention so this doesn't mean that it's necessarily bad 
or that we should avoid talking about these things but i think that the key here is to be honest with ourselves to get to have a good plan and then do the most of what we currently have then as time goes by probably we will have more resources knowledge or whatever that will ensure that at least our game gets more downloads than our previous one here comes the solution how can you escape the harsh game development system and actually be successful you need a marketing plan this can be post posting videos on social media or paid advertising if you have the budget anything that gives your game visibility in a saturated market will be worth and finally you have to be realistic in terms of if your game is actually good or not and unlink personally from it so that you can see it as a product but not as something you created so that you can focus more on actually selling it i would like to focus a little bit more about unlinking yourself from the game of course as we're creating the games on our own it's a natural behavior to start linking ourselves with the game and that's the reason why we can think that the game is better and blah 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 that i've been explaining in the previous points so the key point here i think that is unlinking personally from these games because when we are linked personally to our project what happens is that we set unrealistic expectations and we aren't honest with ourselves again super connected with the previous points so by unlinking personally from our projects we will start seeing them as products but not as games that we created so we will be able to focus more on actually selling it to potential customers i would like to remark again the importance of getting attentions towards the game in a market full of other games paying thousands of dollars to be showcased in the homepage and even running ads in all social media platforms so besides having an amazing game there is other key that you really have to focus you really have to have a marketing plan that can be in two ways either you start an online profile in any social media youtube instagram tiktok etc or you spend a money in running advertisements in all of these social media or you can even combine both methods let me show you how this is applied in a running youtube channel a running project with more than a thousand k subscribers a hundred k subscribers sorry road to Bostock, as you can see is a 3d shooter project we are making videos about as you can see they have different but well they have for example dev blocks they have some announcements they are basically showcasing the game that they are creating it isn't currently a published project but what they are doing with this is that they are building hype in their community so they are actually building a community with this so when the game is finally released they will already have some audience that is willing to play or pay for playing the game as you can see here we have this team page and as you can see well we have the demo and the game is actually coming soon but they have been able to build a substantial community with a lot of wish lists okay it's just a matter of taking a look at the youtube channel with thousands of subscribers now i will summarize over 10 minutes of video in just 30 seconds so pay close attention because you will have all the key points literally ready to be written down Here's the bottom line, navigating the game development landscape isn't walking in the park. It's about facing the hard truths like the importance of marketing and being brutally honest about your creation. In this journey, the road to success demands more than just a great game. It requires a well thought out marketing plan and a realistic perspective on your creation. It's not just about making a game, it's about selling it to a broader audience. Remember, in a sea of games all looking for attention, standing out is half the battle. Whether you're investing money or time or a bit of both, it's a choice you need to make based on your resources. Road to Bostock, for example, isn't just a game, it's a testament to the dedication needed in this industry, having a very big YouTube channel and probably running ads on their end. So as you embark on your own game development journey, armed with the knowledge and the strategies to overcome them, may your games shine bright in this competitive landscape so yeah there basically you have a summary of all the key points that the video mentions in a matter of just 35 45 seconds something like that if i were you i would write them down right away 
So I hope that this video has been helpful for you. For sure, nobody has the truth about all these things because I know that they may be quite controversial. But well, I wanted to share my points of view about all these things. And well, I am telling you this not to sell you actually anything because until now I don't sell anything. Uh, so I just want to help you based on my experience. You can check more about my experience, about what I created, what I published, etc. All the links that you can see in the description down below. So again, I want to remark this. There isn't a blessing. There isn't um, like the 100% truth about all these topics. Okay. There are just different opinions based on different experiences that developers went through. Okay. So I'm basically sharing my experience and my thoughts that I came thanks to my experiences. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments down below so that I post more videos about this topic. Like and subscribe to the channel so that YouTube notifies you every time I upload a video and you can actually learn more about how to sell uh, in-game development. And I hope you have an amazing day. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.